Welcome to the yin yoga class. Make sure you have all of your props. So bolster, a couple blocks, blanket. I think I have my blanket. And then um, you can have two blankets. Sometimes that is helpful. It's quite cold here in this room. So I'm keeping my vest on to start, but that should be okay because we're starting out on our back today. And we're gonna do, we're gonna start out with dead bug, do a little bit of movement because it's so cold right now and it's in January. We want to make sure we do a sufficient warm up before we start really holding poses. Okay, so on your back. Your limbs up in the air, your legs in the air, and your arms in the air. And then what's going to happen is your right leg is going to release down with the left arm. And then your left leg with the right arm. So they come back up and then you switch. Now go slow because what you're trying to do is it's a coordination thing. Right, left, up. Then left, right, up. Right, left. And this is also really good for your core strength. Good. Keep going, alternating. Good. Last set. And then draw your knees in and go in a circle. Both legs are going out and in. And then go in the other direction, in and out. Opening up your arms, legs going to the right. Just drop there for a second. Then lift and go to the left. Pause. Lift, go right. Pause. Lift, go left. Pause. Lift, go right. And lift, go left, and lift, go right, and lift, go left. Good. Now you're going to bring your feet together on the ground, and then you're going to open up Baddha Konasana, and the arms go up above the head. Good, then the legs come together and you draw them in and reach them up. See if you can grab your ankles and pull the legs in. Then release, go back down, feet together on the floor, open up, Baddha Konasana. Yep. Then bring it in, up, legs come up, grab, grab the ankles. And then down, feet together and open. And come back up, grab. We're gonna do that a couple more times. And down, open, in and up. One more, down and open the legs. Bring them together and lift. Good. The left leg drops, right knee comes in. Pull it in and open to the side. Bent knee. And then bring it across the body. Open the arm. Right arm opens. Ooh, I'm sore today. And then release. Left knee comes in, 
right leg extends. Open to the side. And then bring it up and take it across. Good, and then from there, you're gonna grab a block or two and then push your pelvis up. Take your block underneath and now your feet go wide, right to the edge of your mat and you're gonna drop side to side. You're on one block, side to side. Great. And then holding it to the right side. Now you might have to move the block over a little bit to the right. Hold the legs to the right. We're going to be doing deer pose today, which we haven't done in a long time. So this is preparing us for that. And then lifting up. And then the block goes over a little bit to the left and drop. Good, and then release from there and then Staying on the block, bring your feet together, Baddha Konasana. So feet together and open up. Good, and then from there, legs come in, lift up, remove the block. And then we're gonna come up into a seated position. So come up, sit, and then grab your blanket, take it behind you. Oops. And you wanna sit on it. Left leg comes under, right leg goes over. And then you want both sit bones down. So it looks like this, Andy. Okay. Then make sure, make sure you drive that hip down. All right. And then rotate, staying lifted, rotate to the right. It was quite cold in here, you guys. It was 56 degrees. So, um, because they're not using the studio during the winter break. And then release. Now, shake out your legs first. And then do the other side. So now your right leg comes in and your left leg goes over. And now the other sit bone, make sure it's down. Sit up tall.
and then rotate. That feels pretty good. Aren't you cold, Stefania? Oh, who would know? Oh, you have a few layers on. You know, there's oils that you can get to help the healing. So you just put it on it and it'll help it heal. Not like stuff. Yeah, I'd get some ashwagandha oil because ashwagandha is a it helps rebuild tissue, so it'll help. I know, isn't that that's a crazy accident? Crazy. The light off. That's why. If the light was on, you would have seen it. Oh, and it, yeah, so that nobody trips and falls on anything. Oh my god, okay, and then shake it out. I know, but that's a that's a hard thing, okay. So now you're going to take your bolster to one side, we're going to do deer pose. Before we go into deer pose, we're going to do a little bit of windshield wiper, but the bolster goes to one side like that. So you can sit up on your blanket if you would like for just a moment. And then your legs come up and you're leaning back and you're just doing this. That's it. That's all you're doing. Just a way to warm up. It's so much better to do a little bit of movement first before you hold these darn poses. <laughs> okay, good. And then you go to this side and you hold it. Now it's deer pose. So what we want is you've got the bolster here and you want your thigh to line up. Now, here's the thing. You need to have a 90 degree angle here in the front knee. And then you gotta push this leg back behind you and do a 90 degree angle there. So that's the tricky part because what happens is people tend to like just bend and they, they do this. So, but it actually is 90 degrees. And it looks like you have this square here. There's a square. You could put like a big giant square block there. Okay. And then you're gonna rotate towards your bolster. Oh, I'm pretty stiff. And then you, you could start out on your side like this if you're feeling pretty stiff today. But if you're okay, then turn towards your bolster and drop both elbows down. How's that, Stefani? Is that okay? Okay, good. Yeah. Well, now it's going to really encourage you to continue to stay in shape. Yeah. Have you walked the dogs since you run into the thing? Have you walk, been out walking? This? Is, is, that, is it going to be okay to walk all the dogs? Okay. Yeah, 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 you'll have to have that perfect combination of movement to keep the blood moving and rest, yeah. Make sure you get good rest at night because that's when we heal. Oh, I'm sure, because you can't lay down, horrible. You need a pregnancy pillow. Oh. Oh, yeah, they have them. They're just called body pillows now, but I know men that use them now. <laughs> yeah, but what happens when you have to rotate? You have to take this 
giant swan pillow with you and rotate it with you. <laughs> that would be horrible. Yeah. Okay, so see if you guys can go a little deeper. So you're going to move the bolster and then maybe drop down onto that outer elbow and drop your forehead. So what was that, Stefania? Yeah. Yeah. Stiffness. Yeah, you get stiff. It is. I'm telling you, you guys, the blessing in my life, even though I, I haven't made a whole lot of money from yoga, but you know, when all the injuries I've had, I, I could take very little time off and I still had to do the practice. And my doctor's like, he can't believe, I mean, I blew out my knee in April. I'm not even wearing a brace. And he's just like, he just, and I'm telling you, it's because of yoga and staying active. It's just worth it. It was a little too much, though. I don't want to wish my last year on anybody. It was too much. Okay, and then we're going to slowly, slowly release out of that. Now, as we release out of it, we're going to actually take the legs forward. And then just dropping into a forward fold, but it is a supported forward fold. So use either your bolster or a block. And drop down. So you so with the bolster, here's the thing. You don't want to actually have it too close to your belly because if you do, then you're not going to be able to go forward. So you want to have some distance, but it's kind of nice because then you can really just kind of cuddle up and pretend that it's a swan pillow. And then support your head with a block, or if you don't have a block, you can use your fist. So I don't know how many of you guys are actually getting my emails because I switched over to an email service to try to make my emails look more professional. And then I keep talking to people and they're like, oh, well, I don't get your email. I only send it out every two weeks. Yeah. Oh, you are getting it? Okay, good. Well, and then I, other people, they're like, they're on my list. And then they'll email me saying, hey, I heard you're having that because I'm doing a women's workshop, which if you guys are, it's pretty incredible. I did one 15 years ago, the exact same one that I'm doing. And it was it was really a beautiful day. Anyway, so I'm doing another one to just kind of create the energy that we want to bring us into a new year in a positive way. And um, so I've got a few people that have signed up that have told a couple friends that are on my email list and they're not getting my emails. And I'm like, I don't know. Because I check. They're on there. So it's going into spam because it's that's the problem with these email services is that your what I don't know what the browser I guess detects them. This is a really nice forward fold when it's supported like this. Okay, and then lift up. And now we're going to switch your bolster to the other side. Go back into legs up, lean back, back and forth. Okay. And then now your legs go this way and we want to make sure that the other leg now is the thigh is lined up with the bolster like that. 
and then your other leg goes back. And once again, you want to have 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle here. Floor is so cold. <laughs> I don't want my body on it. 90 degree angle. And then you have this square in here. Like you could take a big square block and just place it right in there. Great. And then turn. And you might actually start out. I don't know why, but I'm super stiff today here. I lifted weights yesterday and taught two yoga classes. So maybe that's why. I got my son a job at the gym where I teach at Crunch Fitness. And anyway, so they gave him the 4.30 a.m. shift. Not for two more weeks. Um, so they gave him the 4.30 a.m. shift, and he is on time. He, They are just, like, blown away. They're like, we can't believe he's only 19, and he's, like, so responsible, and he's on time. And, you know, because they have a lot of young kids that come in there. They Because they, you get a free membership. So they'll come and work, and then they get a free membership. But then they're not reliable. All right, and then see if you could drop down. So he is so responsible that they gave him a key. Now he is opening up the entire gym on his own. Yeah, for sure. He is. He just didn't do as well as he should have because he lollygagged. He, he, he socialized a little too much. And I told him that. I said, you know, it's just giving you an idea that you need to make sure you study more. That's your priority. That's why you're there. <laughs> he's, he's like oh I, I I guess I didn't do as well as I thought I had I'm like hmm Kellen that's If you can go a little deeper now, move the bolster down, drop onto the forearm. If you haven't done it, turn your head and release. Ooh. That feels good. Nice, Andy. That looks great. You're pretty stretchy there. Good. And then slowly coming out of that, we're going to go back into that forward fold, and then we will be doing an opening for the chest. So this is an opening for the back. Remember, you want the bolster to be away from the belly. Move it down the legs and then release down and rest your head either on a bolster, on a block.
Great. And then you're going to take your bolster and just set it down. Take your arms over the bolster so that they drop and open up. Now, if you have vertigo or anything like that, take a block and support your head. But I do want you to keep that chest nice and open. Ooh, boy, I'm sore. Is it too much? Just, just stay. Can you just stay? Do it this way. And then that way you don't have to have as big a stretch. And maybe even support your head still on you because I think that, yeah, here, let's support you. There. Better, huh? There. And so you're still getting the opening. Yeah. So breathe. So do the circular breath. So, you know, belly, diaphragm, chest, and then empty. Do that. Fill up, empty out. Fill up. Empty out and go slow. Let it be a slow breath, but you're, it's this continuous breath. And then you want to connect your breath so that you have no space between the inhale and the exhale. So you are connecting your inhale to your exhale. So if you guys want to do that, we'll all do it. Circular breath. It's a very healing breath. This is a great posture to do circular breath in. So what you do is you start out filling your belly, then moving the breath on your inhale up from the belly into the diaphragm, into the chest. So if you're doing a four count inhale, you're doing a one count filling up the pelvis, two filling up the upper belly, three filling up the diaphragm, lower chest, four, filling up the upper chest and shoulders. Then exhale, letting your breath release the same counts. And it's this continuous fluid breath. As you get comfortable with that breath, then you want to do the circular breath, which is Eliminating the space between the inhale and the exhale. Does that make sense, you guys? How's that going, Nancy? It's what? Well, that's okay. So just do, are you doing a three count inhale? So what's, what it's telling you is that you've just gotten into a pattern of breathing a certain way. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a really important exercise for you then. Watch. So you can help yourself. Breathe here. Just here for now. All right, huh? Well, you're not used to breathing. Yeah, so breath work would really, have you ever done a breath? Uh, I really would recommend it. Um, I'll do one. I'll do one in February and we'll do a breath. I'll bring in a gal that does breath work. I can do it too, mm -hmm. but she has like headphones and it's really cool. Oh. But what it does is it releases all of the breath blockage. So sometimes it's just there's stuff stuck there oh, I... <laughs> yeah so try to breathe into your belly as much as you can there you go that was a good breath and you're going in there yeah and it helps like if you're laying flat to place your hand on your belly 
Yeah. So you guys keep it there. We're going to do a few more breaths there. This is a very, very soothing, relaxing posture. There you go. You're doing it. Practice breathing into your belly. It will make a huge difference. Okay. Nice. And then roll out of that. You're going to remove your bolster. You're just going to stay flat on your back, though. Remove your bolster. And we're taking the right leg over the left. Now, if you can wrap the right foot around the left, I'd like you to do that. Shift your hips slightly to the right. Use a block if you need to and drop your legs to the left. Extend your left arm, or, sorry, extend your right arm out. Left hand comes up on the thigh. So that is a deeper rotation. You guys feel that? Is that okay, Stefania? So it should be your right leg on top, you guys. Right leg on top, wrap the right foot around the calf, shift your hips to the right, drop your legs down to the left, open up the right arm. How's that? There you go. Just keep it modified then. You don't have to wrap the foot. Now breathe. So here is another practice of breath where now you're breathing into the belly and ribs. So you're trying to expand the rib cage. Oh, God, you guys, it's so cold in here. Breathe and fill your belly, fill your rib cage. I might have to bring my heater next time. Oh my God, you can't, you don't have a choice. You have two fleece jackets on. Oh. Andy, you don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> She's in her nice, warm home. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to come up. Now that right leg, the foot goes on top of the knee. So you go up like this. And it's between the heel and the ankle. That space that goes on the knee. And then lift. Interlace your fingers. Now, if this is really... No big deal for you. You have lots and lots of flexibility here. Then you can interlace your fingers at the knee, just below the knee. Not too far down because then you won't get a stretch. Right at the knee or a little bit lower. And you'll definitely feel it. So if you're grabbing behind the, the hamstring, see if you can reach a little further forward right there at the knee and grab there. Andy, I think you could do it. So drop your foot that's in the air. Yeah. Nice stretch, opening up that 
uh, pelvis where the glutes are there, releasing any tension there, and lots of tension gets stored there. All right, and then we release. Shake out those legs if you need to. And then we switch sides. So now the left leg comes up and goes over. And you wrap the foot if you can. Shift your hips slightly to the left. And now you drop your legs down to the right. And then you take your breath into the belly and ribs. Right there. Breathe. Extend that left arm out. How's this side, Stefania? Is this side okay? Once you're in the pose, you're okay. Okay. So you're extending that arm and really trying to get that left shoulder on the ground. If you're not able to get it on the ground, you can use a blanket. Sorry, I didn't cue you guys this on the other side, but this is just an option. So you can take a blanket underneath the shoulder, give it a little bit of support. And then that way, it's not quite as intense for the chest. Make sure that that breath is deep into the ribs, into the belly, expanding the intercostal muscles between the ribs. Good, and then slowly coming out of that. And now that left leg is going to come on top of the right. So again, it's between the ankle and the heel that goes there on top of the leg. Then you lift up and interlace, start out here at the hamstring, but then eventually you go to the front of the knee. And hold. And then if you can grab underneath at the knee, do that. See if you can transition to grabbing at the knee. And no matter what, you can relax that foot, no matter where whether you're grabbing behind the hamstring 
or in front, let that foot relax. Yeah, good, you guys, that looks good. Good. And then releasing from there, we are going to sit up again. So sitting up. Now, if you can, use a blanket. Right leg is going to extend. Actually, let's extend the left leg first just to let that hip rest a little bit. And then the top leg goes over and we're going to start out just with a root twist. The no big deal twist. Good. And then that foot, this left foot then is going to get pulled to the hip. Stack those knees and then drop forward. So we get that nice isolated hamstring stretch. It's gonna stretch the back of this extended leg. And if you need a block, support your head. Good, and then lifting up, remove that leg, shake them out. And now your left leg comes up, goes over the right and rotates, start out in a rotation. I got my hair colored, you guys, can you tell? I got my hair colored. Yeah, I was doing henna for years and I just was, it was just getting too red for me. I didn't like it. So I'm trying now this natural brown thing, which is, this is my natural color anyway. Okay, and then after that, you're gonna grab the foot, pull it to the right hip, stack those knees and release over that extended leg. And hold, breathe, soften.
good. And then slowly coming out of that and taking it once again onto your back. And we're gonna do a little bit of a bridge. So lifting up your pelvis, taking a block underneath. If you could do it with two blocks, that's fine. Holding it there. And you can go wide with your legs if you want to let the knees drop in, or you can extend your legs straight out. That is really up to you. It's gonna open up the front of the pelvis there. Next week, you guys, we're going to do a thing called the psoas smash. You should tell Chris to come. Well, oh, the psoas smash. And it releases the psoas, which is the culprit to all of the pelvic problems. And Oh, you won't make it next week? Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe I'll wait. Oh, wow. Okay. And then from there, you're going to come out of that. Release your legs once again to the right side. Extend the left arm. Pause. Take a couple breaths. And then going to the other side, and then take a couple breaths. And now, after you're done with your couple of breaths, then you're going to set yourself up for Shavasana. So get warm, because it is quite cold. It is so cold in here. Sorry, you guys. It didn't even warm up to 60. It got to... It's at 58. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so relax. Get your legs supported with a bolster. Thank you, Nancy. And make sure that you cover your eyes. Definitely you want to be warm. And relax.
And then begin to deepen your breath. Allow some movement into your fingers and your toes. Gently roll to your right side. Take a few breaths there. Just pause. Hold it on the right. And then coming up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands together, connecting your thumbs to your heart. Take a moment to be still. And may you have a beautiful day. Namaste. Good job. We survived. You did it. Good job, Andy.